Bill Fury again. It's running on regular gasoline. She's warming it up. I'm going to go into the transitioning from gasoline to vapor. The other system you had was a Firefly. Firefly high voltage system. Right now the engine's warming. It's running on regular gasoline. You can see the tube right there. Nothing's going through right now. Once it gets it warm, then it'll switch it over to uh, vapor. You see the fuel filter right here. That's hooked up. After it warms up, we'll go ahead and we'll. Uh, Switch it over to vapor. While it's running, we'll go ahead and uh, disconnect the fuel line to show you that there's no fuel line. We're looking at a 318 fuel line. I'm going to go ahead and shut the engine off. Hey, what? Well, I'll just go ahead and fire it back up and we'll just go ahead and uh, switch it over and then I'll take the fuel line off of it. Okay. Yeah. He's on 
base. You can see it right there. There's no fuel right there. Not even wet. If that was hooked up, guys, it would be spewing gas all over the place. He's on vapor. No gasoline. He runs better than what fuel does. Right here in the liquid gas. Just saying. Everybody had a car like running on vapor. It hurt the big boys, wouldn't it? So it can be done, you know. This car can do it. A lot of other cars can do it. But they're going to put a stop to you. Because they don't want you to take the money from their mouth. As long as they're out there, we're slaves. If we were to hook this up and gas the shell, Frank and Liza, this thing would not even show zero, 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 zero. The hydrocarbons and HP. You come over to the tailpipe. You can't hardly see it. Probably. I can't see it with the sun. But I can stick my mouth down on the exhaust pipe and it don't even make my eyes water or nothing. I mean, it smells like cookies. Bacon in an oven. It's unbelievable. Tell the people, Bill. Huh? Tell the people again. If you were to take all the emissions stuff off of these new vehicles. Oh, yeah. We can take all the emissions off of the newer vehicles and put back the way you used to the electronic emissions, point distributor, anything like that is better because the cars run better. We don't need all this stuff tagged onto the motors. We don't need these aluminum motors. We don't need these aluminum heads anymore. Put them on vapor, put them on the far fly spark, go down the highway, clear the missions up on these things, make these motors run a million miles with no carbon in them before you tear them down. We can do it. We can be ahead of the Japanese company 100% this government will let go and let these inventors get these cars on the market instead of buying them up or, or doing something with these people that comes up with this device. Yeah. We're here to say we're not afraid. We're right here in the open public doing this. And as far as I'm concerned, we're not going to quit. We're going to have these things on the highway before it's over. Yep. Okay, Roger, want to read a little something here? I'll go ahead and shut mm -hmm. the car off so we can hear it. Go ahead. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to read a little something broke down here about if these systems really work and if they do, why ain't they using them? So the U.S. government owns at least five patents for the vapor systems. The oil companies own at least 15 of them. Car manufacturers owns at least 94. If they were to admit these things work, many people would have to come up with a lot of answers. All company profits are at their all-time astronomical high as they just continue to un Betted to rip us apart with their price gouging. They are by far and away the most powerful financial entity on the face of the earth. Do you think for a moment they care about you? They will continue to rip off until the end of time if they're allowed to. The U.S. government gets around six dollars in taxes every time you fill up. Imagine if you only had to fill up every three months instead of every week. Do you think your bureaucrats are going to give up their golden goose? You the consumer. So there are over a thousand patents dating back to the early 1900s that would work but have been suppressed by big money and the government. Many of the patents have expired, been picked up by large entities whose only concern is to milk us, the consumer of our hard-earned money, <clears throat> and to earn astronomical profits with absolute no concerns from the environment. 
most of these systems work and have been proven and documented. Um, like I say, back in the, in the uh, late 70s, Thomas Ogle had run a vehicle over 100 miles on a, on a gallon of fuel. Uh, back in the 30s, uh, in the 20s where he started is uh, Thomas Pope. He got out there and, and showed like 70 miles to a gallon and by the time it was over with back in the late 30s, he had proven over 200 miles to a gallon in this Ford vehicle. Uh, so, like I say, it's out there. It's a proven fact. We don't care if they take the distributors away from us. We don't care put the fuel injection there, operated by the computers. We don't care because I think the far fly with the vapor tied in this thing is going to make progress. And like I say, we're going to make this thing work. We've already got it working as we showed you on both vehicles. So when we combine this thing, there's no end to what these vehicles will do. There you go. Woo. So, are we gonna warm up the tail? So yeah, you've seen it. The, the engine does work. We'll keep you updated. This is just things to come. Vapor Man out. <laughs>